So, what are we having for lunch and dinner this week? <laughs> We've got bananas, red onion, some carrots. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably tell from the title of the video, I haven't fully figured out what it is yet. But I'm going to do like a my little like Sunday routine meal prep grocery shop kind of video. I saw Steph Pays do this recently and I absolutely love her. I'm going to link her video down below if you haven't checked her out before or don't know who she is. She is the organization queen and makes me feel so motivated every time I watch one of her videos. She's just crazy. So I'll link her video down below but she basically did a similar thing where she like did a grocery shop to talk you through like her meal prep for the week and her planning and organization. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. Every single Sunday we do a grocery shop. I do my meal prep and yeah, so I've been doing this for a few years now. It kind of comes like second nature to me now, but I know a lot of people are kind of starting to get into the whole meal prep thing and all that kind of stuff because it honestly saves so much time. Um, if you feel like you're very time poor during the week and can't be bothered cooking like your lunches or your dinners, definitely give meal prepping a go or even just prepping things in batches, you know, like your chicken or your carb sauces or whatever, and that way they're all there to go. But we have a whiteboard um, on our fridge and during the week we kind of just write um, when we run out of something, like if we run out of bananas or if we run out of milk, we start writing it on the whiteboard and then on a piece of paper, I'm gonna start writing a actual handwritten list because I feel like it's just so much more organized that way. The first thing I've got is my meal plan for the week. Um, wow, I'm talking so much already. <laughs> when it comes to my lunches, I usually meal prep the same meal every single day just because that's what works for me. I know some people would prefer to just make a bigger batch at dinner and have that leftovers for their lunch the next day so do whatever works best for you and your lifestyle but for me I prep my own lunches for the week Andy will prep his own lunches for the week and then our dinners we kind of change up so that we're not getting bored so what are we having for lunch and dinner this week <laughs> I think I want beef burgers are you down for Big Macs homemade uh, yeah. Big Macs so Big Macs that's going to be too nice, so let's just say that's Monday and Tuesday. Do you want chicken and potato or chicken and rice? Ooh. Rice. Rice? Like a curry? Yeah. Okay. And then Friday night. What do you want Friday night? Something fun. Like a pasta dish? Yeah. Carbonara. Carbonara? Alright. Please. Please. All right, now let's do the grocery shop. If I keep talking, it's going to be the longest clip ever. So I'm just going to time lapse the grocery list. <laughs> have cats that literally just jump in your grocery bags as soon as you get home because owls love them but anyway I've just laid out all the food so I'm just going to quickly show you what we picked up um, this is pretty much what we pick up most weeks we usually buy the same protein and carb sources and then just kind of like vary the flavoring like you know we have chicken every single week but we'll make so many different variations of chicken if that makes sense so let me just quickly show you what we got. So we've got some light cream for the um, scalloped potatoes and carbonara. Andy's got light milk. I've got my almond milk. We've got 
some apples. Let me know down below in the comments, do you prefer red apples or green? I go for red, Andy goes for green. I feel like they're too sour for me, <laughs> even though I love Sour Patch Kids. But anyway, we've got bananas, red onion, some carrots, lettuce, some frozen raspberries, some fresh strawberries. We've got frozen veggies, some Yo Pro yogurts, a spring onion. For meats, we've got beef, beef burgers, some chicken breasts. We also have chicken tenderloins in the freezer at the moment. We've got some bacon, some ham, this little tikka masala. We've been obsessed with this lately, so we're gonna make a curry this week. I've got some hummus. We've got raspberry jam, burger thins. I found these at Aldi and I'm pretty sure they're new because I've never seen them before, but they're 88 calories per like packet and they're kind of just like chips, like a variation of chips. So I'm excited to try these. We've got Nutri-Grain, some pasta sauce, spirals, white rice, coconut milk, um, some wholemeal bread, and some Spud Light potatoes. So now I'm gonna put these all away, and we actually cleaned the pantry yesterday, which you'll see in one of my weekly vlogs, but it looks so neat and tidy now, so I'm gonna put this all away, and then I will start prepping some of the food. afternoon walk it is 2 p.m. so I'm gonna get a crack on with my meal prep and just like sorting out my food for the week so this week I'm making um, a healthified scallop potatoes I honestly haven't had scallop potatoes since I like lived at home probably like eight or nine years ago but it used to be one of my favorite foods that my mom used to cook so I'm gonna try my hand at making them with my spud light potatoes today if they work, I'll leave the recipe down below because I'm also going to use like light milk instead of cream. So I don't really know if it's going to work or not, but yeah, if it works, I'll let you guys know. And I'm also going to prep some chicken breast as well. That's just one tip I have for you guys. If you are cooking meat, a lot of them are fine. Like if you're cooking a minced meat, you can usually batch cook it. But when it comes to like chicken breast and stuff, I just prefer to cook it for a few days and then cook it fresh again sometime in the middle of the week. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. Let's get cracking. <laughs> So we got the chopped carrot and the chopped up strawberries in the glass containers. And the last thing I do is make overnight oats. So I'm going to do half a cup of just quick oats in another container. The good thing about overnight oats is that it lasts up to a week. So you can like prep it on a Sunday for the week ahead. I personally just do like the night before because... Otherwise, there's not enough room in my fridge. <laughs> um, and then we're going to do a scoop of chocolate protein powder. The protein is optional and also the flavoring you can like change up as well. Like if you just wanted vanilla, that's fine. I love chocolate overnight oats. And then I usually put like frozen strawberries on top in the morning. So you want to put the whatever fruit you put on top you want to do in the morning. Because if you put it in now, it's going to go soggy and you don't really want that um, and then I just put half a cup of almond milk some people do like a full cup but I kind of like mine more thick and like I don't know I just prefer the thicker consistency and then I'm putting a couple of drops of stevia 
You literally just mix that up, pop it in the fridge, and then in the morning, it's done. So easy. Got my coffee back in the same spot I started this vlog this morning. It is now 4 p.m. and I'm officially clocking off for the day. I'm so tired, this coffee is very needed. But I definitely recommend meal prepping if you've never like given it a go or even just prepping certain parts of your food because it makes the week so much easier. If you guys wanted to see more of these types of videos like meal prep with me or even like a Sunday routine because that is pretty much our Sunday but we also um, do a few other things to get ready for the week ahead. So if you wanted to see more of like a Sunday routine, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.